okay, remember that they're changing my voice. I'm not gay. People who are immature are changing my voice. And I'm sure you've noticed a lot of immature people everywhere. Bear with me. This video series is important. I'll try to keep it short. So when we look at the three types on the screen, you see the gay parade type, you see the gay priest, and you see what is supposedly a straight conservative, um, you might say professional type of scholar, academic. And it's in the video where they're arguing that they should be allowed to you know, do what's wrong, which is declare the so-called superiority of um, Western values. Okay, so why they're wrong is interesting. Okay, why all three of these cultures are incorrect is interesting. Now, <clears throat> it's important to note that why the left cancels culture and the right, you know, doesn't like any culture that's not conservative, okay, that these cultures are allowed. Both the right and the left wouldn't lift a finger to stop any of these cultures, okay. The right wing will try to stop it from spreading into conservative areas. Kind of like, you know, organized crime in a city slicing up the city and saying who's in what territory and why. Pretty straightforward. I'm sure most people can agree with that uh, right away. Now, why exactly is, is say, a, you know, a long tie superior to a bow tie, right? In the minds of most people at least because it's more professional and everyone knows most people see it that way why do, is the guy in the suit seem to be more reasonable than the other guys because in western culture no offense to anybody being a more straight seeming seeming that guy could be the gayest guy of all but being a more straight seeming person in a suit seems more professional than someone at a gay parade or a gay priest a lot of people would argue that a gay priest is an oxymoron. It's a contradiction, right? The Bible is clear that it forbids homosexuality. And Christ said in the, as a character in the story that he came to fulfill the law, which includes Leviticus and homosexuality being a sin. He said, if you even lust in your, for somebody, you're sinning. Okay. Again, these are just the facts here. In order to solve the problem in society, including for LGBT people, you have to tell the truth about these things. Now, it's very obvious that neither of these groups has somebody that's ideal. And in fact, I would assert to you, using the historical scale of America, at least from 1980 to now, that no one in those groups is seen as ideal. One is seen as an arrogant person who's leveraging privilege to try to feign superiority. The priests are seen as people who have joined the church, who couldn't even overcome the spirit of homosexuality before they claim to represent God. And the people at the gay parade, again, no offense to anybody, are seen as scatterbrained people who are making a fool of themselves. If you have any problem with any part of this video, please put in the comments. I'd love to hear your argument. This video is not about bashing these people. It's about making sure you understand this in part one before we get to part two, where I'll make an example of what would happen if you replaced basketball and football with mere English ceremonies, you know, formal ceremonies, or gay parades. Thank you.